What's up, potheads? Here we go. <clears throat> okay, it's been a long weekend. I apologize. Lack of content. On and off. I suck. I know. You can tell me about it. I can take it. I'm strong. Anyway, okay, we're gonna go through a lot of peppers today. Um, these, uh, except for the first one, which we'll get that one out of the way, this one was a Home Depot plant. Got this at the beginning of the season. It has almost died multiple times, but I got a pod off it. This is their uh, Big Daddy, I think is what they call it. Uh, actually, maybe a Bonnie plant that they did for uh, them. And uh, it's a sweet pepper. And I'm just really excited. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger than this, but I got a pod. So that's all we need. And uh, we'll get through it together. So, whoops, that was not great. I'm using a straight razor on this bad boy. Anyway uh rmj tactical the little bird they have discontinued this one anyway <coughs> almost no seeds i don't care <clears throat> Ooh, thick walls it's jalapeno-esque i love the orange it was supposed to be yellow but very few seeds i'm not gonna save them unless this thing's delicious and then i wish i did so big daddy is what i'm gonna call it Snack pepper levels of sweetness, mild bell pepper taste, but absolutely delicious. If that one pops up at your Home Depot this next season, please snack that one. That was really good. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, my uh, I don't know if I'm getting sick again. I could be. I don't know. But again, next peppers, all from Pacific Gardener. He sent me out a few. <clears throat> so shouting him out. Uh, we're going to be seeing what he's been growing this year. I don't know what this one is. <coughs> it's delightfully small. About the, <coughs> about the size of a small Tabasco pepper or like, you know, bird's eyes, stuff like that. I don't remember what this one was because I had to throw away the label. You good over there? She's rolling around on the couch and distracting me. Anyway, let's see how this tastes. Mystery pepper. Loaded with seeds. It's a light sweetness. Kind of has a cayenne hit. It's not overly hot. And it had a floral heat. That wasn't bad. If you added something sweet to that, that would be a killer pepper in something. Delicious. Most likely an ornamental, but that was actually a pretty delicious little pepper. It kind of had a bitter oil taste to it, but the heat is kind of all the way around. It's not overly bad. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of got an ornamental burn, which is not all that big and nasty, but it does kind of coat everywhere and it would be just considered hot. All right. Which one next? Let's do this one. Let's do a little pumpkin-y thing here. What is this one? I have no idea what the first word is, but it is a yellow, excuse me, lantern. And it does have the lobes, kind of a super hotty thing. I don't know what it's gonna be. Our chopper. Gotta keep these things on you. I really had to check that I was, <laughs> that I was filming. I don't know, sometimes like whenever I'm doing this, I just have to look and make sure because sometimes I have a weird uh, suspicion that I'm not. Ooh, this has the bell uh, seed formation. It smells kind of, eh. 
This one's kind of fruity. Maybe this one won't be hot and I'll be super lucky. Let's go. No real substance to the pepper. Um, <clears throat> no real flavors that I picked up on. It is mildly hot. Ton of seeds. So, the heat level, probably around 100,000. My tongue is stinging, but it's not super hot sting. It's just hot tongue. It's just been a couple days since I've been able to do anything, so kind of hit me a little fresh, but it's not unpleasant and it's not super hot, so... Making me salivate a whole lot. She does stuff, and then I look over at her and she stops. And then it's like, I'm not doing anything. Uh huh. I hate that. I hate whenever I slobber down the sides of my mouth. It's crazy. Feels terrible. I look terrible. I look like... I mean, really, the burn is just, it's basically concentrating on my tongue, but it's a little bit into where my ears are, about right there. Um, and in the soft palate up top, in the back. It's kind of a habanero burn, to be honest. And that honestly might have been what the pepper was, what that first word was, habanero. Might be a yellow lantern habanero. If it is, it makes sense. Probably in the 150 to 200 range, if so.
yeah, that one kind of had the habanero burn without any of the goodness that is usually with habaneros. And that's just a personal preference. Some people like yellow pods. I don't know if I've had that many that were good so far, but um, I didn't get a whole lot of flavor from it, from it. And tastes are subjective. So take that for what you will. You might try, you might try one and you might get that um, fruitiness that they normally have. Ugh. I didn't, and if it was there, it was so muted, it just wasn't worth talking about. Um, honestly, the other variants, like the reds, the oranges, uh, the chocolates, I get a <coughs> <coughs> inhale spit. Um, I get a lot more out of them. This, this wasn't for me. Um, just not something I'd pick to grow. Um, it needs to bring heat, yes. I don't think it brings more to the table. That was crazy. I almost died. You almost watched a death. Now she's mocking me. All right, well, that burn's going down, but that'll be it for tonight. I've got three more to do from Civic Gardener, and so I'll show those off this week. Uh, Y'all have fun. Keep on growing on.